Here's another example now of good things happening every day in Western New York. With all of the talk about health care this week, what better time to get an inside look at one of our local hospitals? Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center has been serving patients since 1895. And like all hospitals today, it is changing with the times. From its heyday in the 1950s, there is no debate over what Niagara Falls was and is today. The city has lost half its population. Many of the chemical and manufacturing jobs have long disappeared. But through the good times and bad, the building at the corner of Pine and 10th Street has been a lifesaver. We were a uh, traditional safety net hospital, which our mission, which still is, was, was mainly taking care of the poor. Uh, but you also have to be much broader than that in terms of finding resources from other services so you can continue your mission of taking care of the poor, which, which we do very well. We provide over $6 million of charity care a year. And that is a problem almost every hospital has always faced. So will that change now? Obamacare, good or bad? I mean, I don't, does anyone really know? I, I don't mean, think anybody really knows. I think there are variations of Obamacare that's good. And, you know, there are certainly variations that are bad. So, for example, supposedly all of the uninsured is supposed to go away, right, with Obamacare, because everybody's going to have insurance. Well, that's, that's not true, because there are still many people, even though there's expanded Medicaid eligibility income requirements, there are still a number of people that fall through the cracks. Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center has an annual budget of $100 million. It has almost 1,200 employees. It is a major force in the Niagara County economy. And it's a lot more than just a place to go when you're sick. It's all about people. I, I shared with them downstairs that the average nurse has been here about 24 years, mm -hmm. right? I just yeah. you said 35, how long have you been 30, here? 35, yeah. Nobody wants to come here, you know, to have surgery. But, um, you know, we try and make it as pleasant and easy as possible. Hospitals actually compete for your business these days. At Memorial, all private rooms, private showers for many, free TV, and... He asked, so what determines kind of if they should get done in an academic or university hospital versus a community setting? Why do some of the surgeons, the high-end surgeons that we got, why do they pract like to practice here versus in a university? I said it's, it's the personal touch. The personal touch, the family atmosphere. There's a family atmosphere. Yeah. We, we didn't even rehearse this. No? It costs a lot of money to run a hospital these days. Take this operating table. So, so it's, it's got multiple uses. A table specifically designed for a specific for procedure. Yes, for okay. orthopedic procedures. And, and they're Explain the anterior or hip. And they're expensive, right? Yes, this, this, this piece of equipment was about $115,000. Memorial has invested more than $2 million to improve its outside green space, like restoring the old Shellcock Park, and people have noticed. And what we're seeing in the neighborhood is the, the residents that live surrounding the hospital, all of a sudden, they're sprucing up their yards, and they're planting new shrubs, and they're fixing their house. And let's not forget about the babies. About 650 a year begin their lives right here. It's large, but the, they labor in here, deliver the baby in here, and complete their stay. So everything, all in one room. All I, in one I room. thought they used to always wheel you into another room to deliver, and then wheel you back to recovery or something. Not no? anymore. So you're constantly, lo constantly looking for new ways to help people and generate more business and revenue. Right, and generate and generate jobs for people in a community that desperately needs jobs. And so the future looks bright for this community hospital as it changes with the times. We're doing it very differently now. Before it'd be hospital admissions. It's not about hospital admissions. Now it's, it's about keeping you well and keeping you out of the hospital. And something else Memorial is doing, a lot of hospitals are doing now, it offers outpatient services at four new smaller health care centers in Niagara and Erie counties. Joanna?